welcome to ESPN's College Football Prime Time presented by Hampton Hotels and a presentation of the SEC on ESPN. 102,000 holders of the toughest ticket in college football today on a flawless football evening in Baton Rouge as Ole Miss and LSU get together with high stakes. And just like most of Domain's kickoffs, this will be a touchback. Week last week against Kentucky. On second and eight, play action. A slip screen. Treadwell has it. And the physical receiver from Chicago out across the 46-yard line. He is a play clock at five. Wallace had protection, now spins out. Pump fake, knocked out of bounds. Terrence McGee is the back. Jennings flips it short. Complete. McGee has a first down. Has midfield. Breaks tackles deep into Ole Miss territory. Ball comes out, but no fun. Had a monster game against Kentucky. 220 all-purpose yards. Here's a first down throw. Jennings flips it short. Near side completion inside the 30. It'll be a first down. Traven Durant. And other episodes as well. On second and six. Fournette. Hammers straight ahead and leans near the marker inside the 20 before Lewis linebacker. Now it's McGee in the game. The Jennings fakes it to him. Retreats. Is grabbed and throws it out of bounds. Just got it away just before the Sahusi, the sophomore, who's 20 of 21 in his career. Short one from 28. And he missed it. He hooked it. And LSU, after a pro... This is Mathers, now on the reverse. Cody Corr still running down the sidelines. Cody Corr up near midfield and one of the favorites, but his M.O. is to power straight ahead. Tigers can't stop him. First down inside the 40. And High school Paul, quarterback, he's a good athlete. He sure is. The defense and how they try to defend Ole Miss. Need a yard and a half, so it's Wallace still in the game. Handoff in the backfield, but the Tigers swarm. It's a loss. Back to Treadwell in motion. They throw it far side incomplete. He hurried to throw Kirk a little bit. He was pressured. With three rushing yards against the Cats. McGee again, cuts left. And muscles across the 40. It'll be passed against this different system of LSUs. They fake it to Fournette. Jennings fires down the middle and throws it to the freshman who makes a nice catch and muscles down into the red zone. Leonard Fournette show. Fournette. Good blocking. Leonard Fournette hammering down inside the five. Just had to muscle it in. First and goal. Fournette. Ball comes out. Rebels think they have the football at the one-yard line. And it's a touchback. The ball was fumbled into the end zone, and Cody Pruitt recovers for Ole Miss. And 35 consecutive games. Wallace fires far side. A looping throw and a catch made. And off and running is Jalen Walton down the sidelines to the end zone. Ole Miss creates a turnover and strikes back quickly 80 yards after further review the runner stepped out of bounds at the 37 yard line please reset the game clock to 40 seconds breather and atrevious matters is in make sure they motion walton back in fake it to him wallace fires over the middle treadwell makes a leaping catch down at the 10. he beat Play clock at four. Fired, far side, caught. Diving into the end zone is Cody Corr. Touchdown, oh, miss. On third and goal from the 15. They march 80 yards. In control much of this first quarter. Dominating with the ground game. And some nice throws by Jennings, but two miscues in the red zone. It's McGee in the I formation. On third and two, he's got it. Running right, and has a first down out near the... 
And first down, this is McGee again. Breaks the tackle, hard run, and LSU tailbacks, but the ball comes loose, and the Rebels have it. Another fumble by LSU. Cody Pruitt pried it loose. Until tonight. Rebels at the 48. Mathers knifing. He drops the ball, but falls on it. There's scrum. Kate. And they, a lot of times they'll run the same plays. Wallace on third and seven for the third time tonight. The ball batted down at the line. Rebels don't blitz. But Jennings is still pressured and chased. Dumps it off short. Catch made. Marceling for a first down is Terrence McGee. Toss sweep. McGee has the edge. Gets a couple blocks. Cuts it back into Ole Miss territory and dropped at the 45. And the power running game working again. How about these reasons? Has it. And has another first down near the 20. Jen Fournette. Picks his way, muscles for a first and go. Throw to the end zone, jump ball. No. Malachi Dupree, the earlier from 28, just his second career miss, this from 21. No mistake this time. Now. Low snap, Wallace. Fires across the middle, incomplete. Into traffic for Treadwell, broken up by Ronald Martin. Empty backfield on third down. Tigers bring pressure. Wallace is dropped. Daniil Hunter and freaky athlete and Rasko both in. I haven't had to throw it very often. Here comes the pressure. Jennings gets it away, delivers far sideline, but an ill-advised throw, and it's intercepted again by Senquez Golson. He's eight. Keep an eye on this side over here, because he is struggling right now. It brings some pressure. Walton dumps it off on a screen, but nothing doing. Spun down in the backfield. Walton by Denise. To the right of Jennings. They fake it to him. Jennings looking over the middle, fires, caught, complete at the 45-yard line. Trey Quinn second carried in. They fake it to him. Jennings loops it down, intended for Quinn, and picked off again. Mike Hilton, the junior. Someone's going to drop and someone's going to come. Wallace. Still has it, fires into traffic, catch made, but short of the first down. Finally, Vince Sanders makes his initial. The fullback muscles forward to the 44, so Melvin. Hilliard runs left. Still alive, bouncing into Ole Miss territory and knocked out finally at the 43. It's Hilliard. Hit, fights forward, leans. It'll be close, but I think they'll mark it just Xander, short. Xander, 330 pounds. Behind neighbors, the fullback fighting forward. It's going to be very close. Right at the third. Fournette in the eye. They snap it at two. Give it to the freshman. Breaks a tackle. Leonard Fournette down the far sideline, hammering inside the 15. Runs. And the 13th is going to be a run, too. <laughs> No. Jennings, play action fake, throws it to the end zone, touchdown. Logan Stokes. <laughs> 12 runs and a touchdown pass as he fools the Rebels. And LSU has the lead. Cam Cameron fooled you. He fooled the <laughs> Ole Miss defense. He fooled everybody. After 12 straight runs, he pulls it out. And what a good job by Stokes. He actually went down on his knees. And I think the corner Golson fell for it. And oh. Wallace fires across the middle, complete for a first down. Freeze was going to signal to the line right here. Wallace on the sneak. Didn't get there.
The Tigers make it. And final chance. Another run to the left and a big stop in the backfield. Good hit made by. Wallace steps up, fires. Incomplete at midfield. Ingram is in traffic. It's fourth and eight. Rebels, the five, to stay alive. Pressure off the edge. Unloaded. Caught. First down. Ole Miss at the 40. Pressure. Empty backfield. Wallace protected. Fires. Complete. Over the middle. Treadwell breaks the tackle. Can he make the sidelines? No. He's dragged down at the, the 48. Step. Run up and spike it. Wallace fires down the near sideline leaping interception attempt but it's incomplete now it's third and seven with nine seconds to go wallace runs around fires far side under the end zone picked off game over lsu is going to upset oh miss as ronald martin seals it Interesting decision by Freeze, Kirk. Well, this is not what he wanted from Bo Wallace. He wanted him to roll out like this and take a shot. Half pick for Wallace all year, and the Tigers spring another upset in Tiger Stadium. to the long list of unlikely heroes in Tiger Stadium. He catches the game-winning touchdown pass, but a total team effort. LSU knocks off Ole Miss 10-7. Up next, Arizona State and Washington out in Seattle. For that, we send you to Mark Jones.